In this video, I'm gonna show you how I use the Zettelkasten method in Notion to help me develop my ideas and retain some of my reading. My name's Anthony, and in this channel, I share some of the strategies and tools I use to run two businesses fully remote. And if you're anything like me, you have a lot of interests, you read a lot, you read a lot of articles, and you've got a ton of ideas, but a lot of what you learn might be forgotten, you struggle with retaining it, and you might kind of find yourself coming back to the same ideas over and over again and not really deepening your line of thinking or reasoning. This is something that I've been trying to solve and I actually came across this book called How to Take Smart Notes by Sonki Ahrens. And in the book, he introduces this thing called the Zettelkasten method, which helps you retain your knowledge and develop your thinking. And in this video, I'm basically gonna try and explain the method and show you how I use it in Notion. So what is the Zettelkasten method? Well, Zettelkasten is basically notebooks in German, and it's essentially a tool to help you organize and structure your knowledge. It was developed by this guy called Niklas Luhmann. He's an academic and a sociologist, and during his career, before he dies, he publishes over 70 books and 400 uh, papers. And he's like completely like a fucking beast to all of his peers like they have no idea how he's getting all this done he basically seems to just like roll through his days his months his weeks like chilling out and obviously the way he does it is through using this thing called the Zettelkasten method in his own words the Zettelkasten method is basically this loosely webbed thinking tool where notes communicate with one another and allow for structured conclusions and basically the core idea is when you're reading a book or reading an article or consuming any kind of content like a podcast or whatever instead of just highlighting the stuff that you find interesting you need to write it on a note or in a note um, in your own words and then rather than just like collecting these notes and putting them off to the side the Zettelkasten basically emphasizes connecting these notes, indexing them and actually recalling them. And it basically runs counter to what we typically do. Let's say I'm not an academic, but let's say you are an academic. You read a bunch of stuff, uh, you learn a bunch of stuff on this specific topic, and then you write a paper. And during that period of time, you're not doing anything outside of working towards that paper. And once you're done with that paper, you move on to the next paper and you read all about this specific like subject area and then you move on to the next one. It's very like linear. And like I'm not an academic, but I'm a business person and I know in business like I, I wanna get out my Facebook ad or I wanna do this to, like a new website. So I just wake up and I do that thing until I sleep. Uh, and in my reading and my learning, it's the same. Like I'll read this one book at one time and I'll write about it and it'll be like very linear. So instead of that, this guy Lumen's method basically helps you store your ideas and your thoughts and in storing them, you free your brain to basically think about whatever you want to think about, consume whatever you want to consume. And in storing these in this meaningful way, the Zettelkasten basically enables you to develop your ideas rather than get stuck in this monotonous pattern. And that's why Lumen himself was able to publish so many papers and books and it basically meant that he was never stuck in this one like linear, he was never confined to his thinking. In Zen flow chart, I've basically tried to summarize his process, let's call it. And it's basically like his reading, his consumption, his brain feeds into these things called fleeting notes, which is like his brain dump. It's like whatever comes to his mind very briefly. And then also his literature notes, which are basically like what he takes notes of during his actual reading and his fleeting notes and his literature notes are reviewed once a day and the shit in there let's call it is discarded like he just chucks it away and what is good is converted into a permanent note so he'll rewrite it repurpose it and it's entered into a permanent note what of the literature notes um goes into a permanent note is put into a reference system and these permanent notes are then converted into a Zettelkasten. So how am I using this? Well, before I show you how I'm personally using this, I just wanna, I wanted to show you the thing in, in Zenflow um, because I think the main point is that it's not just about how you're using it, it's just understanding the logic and, and the process. And you can kind of find what works best for you. So what I'm doing works best for me. Uh, there's a ton of people super passionate about this stuff online. 
they have gone way deeper into it. Some of them are medics, like PhDs, academics, this, that, and the other. Like, I'm just a regular guy who reads books, reads articles, and wants to like remember some of the stuff I learn. So what I do is best for me. So what do I do? Well, look, fleeting notes, I find most useful to just do literally in Apple Notes. So what I've got here in Apple Notes is just this thing called fleeting notes. And I'm anything I'm coming across, I'm reading, I'm writing, whatever. I'll just open up my phone. I'll open up Apple Notes and I'll just chuck in an image, uh, some, some stuff I'm thinking about and so on. And then I've also got these literature notes, which kind of are the same thing. Let's say I'm reading this article or a tweet and I want, I, I go a bit like berserk, basically. I'll write loads about this topic uh, and it's slightly more structured, slightly more meaningful. At the end of the day, I might come and, and kind of move these into my Zettelkast and in Notion. The other thing that I find very, very useful is to have a folder in my Chrome called TDL. Um, and this is kind of like, I've got, let's say, my email. So I've got my email and I've also got a TDL in my email. Like my, This is like my normal inbox, but this is TDL in my email, which means to do later. So I'll find a bunch of stuff in my email. Let's say, oh, uh, like Twitter, blue skies, whatever. I'll open this up and um, there will be an article and I'll read the article fully. So to show you this live, I've got this particular article, let's just say and it's called Emerging Manager Must Do. So let's say I'm interested in capturing some of this reading in note format. So I've got this Zotion, uh, Notion extension and I can save this page into something called my Notion Vault. Now, before I do that, I'm gonna show you my actual Notion for the Zettelkasten. So you'll see here, I've got the Zettelkasten, which is all of my notes and I can change the view of these very easily. So I can have entrance notes and I can have connected notes. And my entrance notes are basically the first note in a sequence of lots of different notes. So to take an example, AR is our future reality. I can click on that and I can see this is the first note. Uh, the tags are AR and technology. It was created on the 3rd of fe uh, February and it's the entrance note to lots of other notes. And I can see what I've written about and I can see the next note here as well. Now that's really useful. And then I've also got this thing called the knowledge vault. Now let's say I'm reading a book, for example. Um, what I'll do to create a note on that book is I'll, create, I'll write new and I'll write new, uh, new non-fiction book. Now this is really, really the easiest, like lowest kind of cost in terms of time and effort thing that you can do. So whenever you read a book and just summarize the book in three sentences, it's short, it's precise. It just helps you kind of get thinking about what was this book about? And just if you do that and you do that for articles as well, or podcasts and whatever you can do it about, that is like huge, that's a huge step up. So I found this very useful and I've actually developed it more, but this is like a minimum, like I would highly recommend it. And you don't even need to do this in Notion. You can just do it in Apple Notes. You can do it on a pen and paper, like wherever. I'll then summarize the book, have some quotes and stuff like that. And you can apply this to nonfiction books as well. So to give you an example, this book I was talking about where I learned the Zettelkast and how to take smart notes. I've titled it uh, Writing and Learning, rated it. I finished it a couple of weeks ago. Here's the URL. And I've kind of written about what do I know about the book beforehand, uh, the book in three sentences, um, some quotes and a summary of the entire book. And I'm gonna put this, uh, the link to download my notes uh, in the description. So feel free to grab those and read through. Um, but that's how I do like books and I highly recommend you to do the same. And the powerful thing about this knowledge vault is that I can actually filter by um, what type it is. So I've got here like article, book, person, podcast, like online course, video, and here subject area, I've got all these subject areas. So I can filter by that really easily. So I can add a filter to say um, the, let's call it the subject area contains like productivity or let's just say technology, I can immediately see what that is and I can remove that and I can say, oh, I only wanna see, let's say the articles I've been reading or the books I've been reading. 
So this is like a quite a powerful thing here, just having my knowledge of all, like seeing everything that I've been consuming and it's sorted by date finished. And you can see that this is actually referenced here. So there's a, there's a line here that's a reference, which means that this database is connected to my Zettle database. Um, so if you remember, I had this article here called Emerging Manager Must Do's. Now I've got Notion uh, as an extension, I've saved this page into my Knowledge Vault. So I can go back into my Knowledge Vault and see here that um, I've got this article. Now I've repurposed this article to be uh, appropriate for my Knowledge Vault and I've rewritten it in my own words. Everything here I can kind of go back to synthesize. That's very useful stuff. And then while I was actually reading this uh, article, I had a few ideas. So I put these ideas in Apple Notes just here and it was really easy. And, and at the end of the day, I then actually went back and I referenced it into an introductory note in my Zettle. Now let's say for example, a few days later, like today for example, I have a different idea having read this. Like a couple of days later, I have a different idea. So this first idea was about how angels and solo general partners can take over the venture capital industry gradually. Let's say I've developed my thinking along these lines. I can have something called the next entry point and I just called it angels for now and this was done today you'll see like 11th of February and I can add um, a bunch of stuff and same again I can create a new entry point uh, I'm gonna say create a new page in my Zettle and say hi YouTube and we create a new page it's called hi YouTube it's a note again my entry note for this is can angels and solo GPs take over VCs? My last entry point was, um, all right, does it also? So the last entry point is done automatically and you can just start writing. And if there's a specific source that resulted in you thinking this particular thing, you can also uh, source it. So that's, kind of how I've structured my Zettel Carson. It helps me learn a lot from what I read. I can go back, go through my notes, process some of this information and see my ideas and my thoughts developing in a very non-linear way. Like you can see here, I've got something called the Tag Vault where I can see all of the various topics and interests I might have. Um, so the filter will remove in a second. So yeah, look, business, finance, venture capital, travel, thinking, life, Apple, Facebook, AR, like technology. And this is just in the last few days, I've developed this entire vault of different um, kind of like subject matters that mean a lot to me. And I can develop my ideas in not just a linear way. Like I don't just need to be thinking about the venture capital industry at any one time. I can think about lots of different spaces, lots of different industries, whether it's AR, VR, tech like vc whatever it is all at the same time and for me it really helps me just like take an idea just like store it somewhere and i can kind of be liberated to think about whatever i want to think about at the time without having to be like held to this specific thing so i hope that was really useful i'm going to leave the template to download um my notes for the book um in the description I'm gonna leave the template to review books in the description as well. And I'm gonna leave the template to implement this in your own Notion system um, down below as well. Um, please, if you found this interesting, if you enjoy this video, subscribe. And I've also got a newsletter where I share some other strategies and tools that I come across while running my businesses remotely um, in a newsletter. So please uh, check that out, it's gonna be in the description as well. And if you have any questions or just wanna reach out uh, like a friendly way, um, please feel free to do so. I've got my Twitter, Instagram, and all, all, all that kind of other stuff uh, in the description. But yeah, thanks again for checking out the video and uh, speak soon.